now we want to shift our focus to events of the week or rather social media uh, trends, let me say, of the week. And joining us here in studio, we have a very funny guy. His name is Eddie Butita. Karibu sana to the show. Santi sana. Good to for have you for here. Introduction. <laughs> I hope you've I been well. I funny. Just, you are. just knew that today. <laughs> <laughs> This is exactly what I'm talking I'm about. Bad <laughs> you need to change them. They are not being kind to you. I'm going to print a t-shirt. Funny guy. <laughs> I like it. All right. Well, we want to jump on to some of the different events that have been happening this week. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have been seeing this uh, in your different platforms. What's up versus M-Pesa. Yeah, yes. On Monday, Facebook launched in Brazil the payment service dubbed WhatsApp Pay, which will enable one to send money on WhatsApp just like one does a photo and is integrated with all Facebook social media apps, including Facebook, Facebook Shops, Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp and WhatsApp Business. Do you think that's risky or is that like a good thing? Is it a wake-up call on M-Pesa? Do you want to say that you can get M-Pesa to get a lot of competition? I don't know. Most likely, uh, for, for it to work well, they might merge with the existing services. Do you want to say that this is a platform for sending money? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you get money into this platform? Mm -hmm. Is it through the bank? Is it through the mobile money uh, platforms that we've been having? Right. Because uh, that's that's uh, also another challenge. Because given that uh, in Africa mostly, like uh, to be specific, Kenya, what we bado what we story, kama zakadi top up uh, top up wallets with cards mm -hmm. and everything, and maybe that's the direction that it's taking where you top up using your your your, your card. Yeah. So if 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 they'll merge the existing uh, uh, ideas with that. Then come up with a with a with a friendly rate for that. Then it's a new dawn. Yeah. But in terms of it being competition against existing platforms, I think what I'm going to do. Yeah, uh, we'll be in for a shock. Now we have to say what you have to review. No, we'll be in. We'll be in for a shock. WhatsApp, you need a smartphone. Now can you about to see what you want? So that's what I'm going to be saying. WhatsApp, ni so ni WhatsApp kalan chapo. Oh, to me, picture that we are that we are carrying up. Then, then, kuwa risky. Uh, but it's a good excuse. Uh, yeah, kuna story ya kusema. Kupledge kwa committee ya Rusi. It's just <laughs> instant. Hey, admin, click the link. Mnomaliza ni hapo. Aji, awesi sema ti WhatsApp ilikuwa ah, chini. Aguna story ya tiona pledge. Nisiju ya mpesa ilikuwa ime. Eh, <laughs> ime hang. Iko, iko tu hapo. <laughs> yeah. But it will, it, it, it will help the uh, SMEs, nini, awote. Uh, yeah. You know, na squeezy biashara iko in Facebook. And yeah, then, yeah. Uh, Risky. You buy something online, so you go and meet someone personally mm -hmm. uh, so that you can pay and maybe they are, they are conning you. you yeah, see? Yeah. So maybe with that platform, they'll be holding like the cash kwanza, paka saile una receive vitu, okay. like safety to flani. All right. Well, to other news now, there's apparently a very high increase in teen pregnancy during this COVID season. Kenya has reported a sudden surge in teen pregnancies in one single county over a period of five months, uh, thus threatening to cut short the pursuit of education among school-going girls. The report collected in sample schools and 23 clinics across 12 sub-counties between January 2018 and May 2019 revealed that 43% of those visiting clinics were teenagers. 43 43%. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Uh, me, I looked at it uh, in, in both ways. First, uh, teenagers need to be protected, uh, given that we go home for long. Since March to up to up to September, that will be like. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, me. Come on, it's like it's five, five, six yeah. months. Mathematics, yeah. uh, like like six months. Aye, apana. Yo, yo, yo space ni ni dangerous sana mm -hmm. kwa kwa mtuendi shule. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, secondly. And uh, I saw uh, the uh, CS Magoha yesterday mentioning something to do with that. Uh, uh, how sure are we? Those are the exact numbers. Mm. They're like, where have they been reporting? And if they are teenagers underage, na manisha kuna mtu wanafa kusuiwa. Kuna kuna watu wakorong hapo na the law should uh, act accordingly. So uh, where are these cases kabisa kabisa? Yeah. Who are responsible for this? 
Well, they're saying Machakos County is leading several other counties in terms of teenage pregnancies in Kenya, according to the Kenya Health Information System survey. Well, the data shows that a total of 3,964 girls aged 19 years and below <coughs> were reported pregnant within that period. And uh, those cases were actually as a result of defilement by close family members. <laughs> Uh, what do you do with such people now? Uh, uh, after certain family members, I was about to blame what was border border, but now, <laughs> that's a, uh, family members, that's wrong. It's very wrong. Uh, it's very wrong. Four out of every ten females attending prenatal clinics in Meru County are below 19 years of age. Um, and uh, this was followed by Tigania East. 56%, Igembe Central 55%, and Tigania West at what 48%. If, what if, uh, maybe without Corona, Pia, Kuna Kwanga, what if that's a, a problem that has been there? It's just now that Tunayona. Maybe it's a problem that needs to be solved. Maybe uh, the numbers have been uh, high among those uh, uh, that age. Nivile Said, Kona, Corona, Nindu, Tuneza, identify higher. It's a problem that needs to be addressed. No, for sure. Yeah. For sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, very quickly, before we go on to uh, uh, a music break here, mm -hmm. um, Tanzania, across the border, Sasa Magufuli anasema, Shule zifunguliwe. pale, njona walifanya mazishi ya corona. Walizika corona. Corona iziku, iko kwa hewa kule. I saw a video where they were, it's like in a club. Uh -huh. Yeah, at the coffee. Yeah, the coffee. corona. Yes. Eh. I, I think... Uh, Tanzania, or, or, or maybe Corona na fakudili wevo, na kichuwa ngumu, toka hapa. <laughs> because Tanzania, they just decided hakuna Corona kwanzia leo. <laughs> and up to now, atujesikia kesi yote. But of course, we are not going to hear cases. The guy has to hide the, I mean, they, they have but, to hide the info. But you see, in Ugoja, like Brazil, uh, President, kuna, kuna vile walikuwa na hide numbers, lakini you, you could tell, eh, hey, wasewa na daddy, sinio, nini. Mm. But Tanzania, ah! Hakuna story. Muliloga Corona! <laughs> <laughs> Wasafi wale ya kuna... <laughs> Pepo ishindi. So hizi tuya uh, shule kufungulia wa... Waendele tu? Ni, mimi... Eh, okay, watoto ni wadelicate sana. Given that na hizo numbers zote wakio pamoja. If bado kuna hiyo threat, itakuwa dangerous. But kama raisi anaona hakuna corona, na hakuna udhibiti, udhibitishi ya... Hmm, dhibitisho. Dhibitisho kwa mba. Mm. Corona haipo. Uh -huh. Sisi ni nani kumkataza? Oh uh, yeah. Eh, lakini, ba aneza kuwa na juu hakuna. Na huku basi, September unaona jee? Hapa, eh, hapa na hiko tusitu. Hapa <laughs> <laughs> na hiko. Na namba zinapanda. Eh, eh, kama jana ilikuwa 230. Imagine. Mm. But, but uh, schools, sana sana, I think that will be a crucial area. So are you Those, also counting down to July? Vile watu wali count down June 6th? Eh, Ama expectations imeshuka? Mbabu, ah, ah, mimi nilisha jiambia. Eh, expect anything. Niko shua itaungezwa tena na yungezwa na yungezwa. It's adapt or die. Yeah. Mm. Uh, currently. It's uh, the new normal. Uh, because unaka even unaka, hey, how are you going to open the country? Mm -hmm. Alafu leo unasikia numbers ni 230, kesho ni 250. Mm -hmm. Risky. Yeah. Okay. Jiweke kwa kietu ya uhuru. Mm. Mm. Rais fungua inchi. Jana walikuwa via leo ni via tatu. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, 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 ki economy tutaubia. I know. And, uh, I know. I know. Oh better my goodness. Safe than sorry. Wow. Yeah, be, okay. Better safe than sorry. Mm. I think so too. Well, <laughs> hey. safe. Okay. Better safe than sorry, but maybe a little hungry, <laughs> guys. Because <laughs> now, anyway, things are thick. Why even go to say day? Anyway, Sadiq, maybe you can take us to break. And then when we come back, uh, we're going to continue. There's a story about a chewing gum now being made uh, from Mira. Since when? Germany. Iraq. <laughs> uh -huh. Murume. Do they have that time? Anyway, hopefully it's neater because it's so gross. Jama, just to see that guy tafunang that thing in my job. It's a taxi. Lord. Anyway, I, hopefully we'll yeah. also have a video for you guys <laughs> of a, a, a lady on social media demanding child support. I'd love to hear your feedback on that one. Apparently, the gum is being sold under the brand name Markan and it's being manufactured by Rec. East Africa Limited and it will be sold strictly to buyers over the age of 18. Mira chewing gum. Mira chewing gum. So you don't uh, need Mira with the chewing, with the chewing gum again. <laughs> 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 you may process it with a combined package. Ah no, but I think uh, people who chew Mira, I think what I embrace. Yeah. You know, the feeling for Mira, according to them, is not the Mira itself. Uh -huh. It's the taxin, the... Mm -hmm. 
na pia kuna hiyo kuna ka process eh kuna ka process chonga hiyo that is the the utamu alafu pia unajua pia sasa inamaanisha watu wa zile hilax kuna biashara hakuna vile tazama mirai itakwenda bolga mina ina transportiwa mbio na hao protest kwa hivi pick up ya chinga minapita mbio hapana the feeling the feeling around it yeah ah maybe ndio sasa itasaidia pia ndio this square zina ridika haraka you this thing like in in 2 hours they expire within But hours. Siko Wilson zimejama ndege zikienda pia. Eh na iziliwa na vile zinapepetwa throughout kama jiko juu ukiwacha kidogo hivi inakauka. Inaparara inajikuja <laughs> inakuwa brown. <laughs> sasa zikoe chinga mzaza hapa pata kwa duka mtu anapepeta chinga oh no but hopefully people just stop it too because it's honestly it's one of the grossest things to look at like for chicks like yeah. just looking at a guy chewing i'm just like wow really but chicks oh, are chewing so, too so, nowadays joyce I'm, oh yeah. so so joyce thinks that we need to make this thing cool if uh, it's uh, there, no like, i think don't do it <laughs> period but, uh, <laughs> not to make it just cool chew gum. but just chew gum <laughs> yeah. yeah but at now there are babes doing it as well you, yeah. you imagine can you what would you think if a, if a chick is she's hot and beautiful and everything but ah, then yeah. she's uko ati actually this is a lesson kwa wale watu wenye ukitoa kachinga be buka moja moja eh sasa uulize imetengenezwa na nini eh ukiwa ukiwa mtu wa kanisa usiombe mtu chinga mzai haya present worship ya siku itakuwa imewaka unaona si because you've taken the day aki now you have to make you do things opposite right like unapata una una, una vashati juu ya koti mm. so unapata kama ni kwa present worship ulikuwa alto na imba base imba base so it reverses thinking Confusion. kidogo eh <laughs> that's the side defect yeah. oh my and what and what, your, your take on this thing about chicks now also chewing mira eh uh, in fact okay nitakuwa vibaya kusema hivyo mm. but me, it is my opinion let mm -hmm. me clarify it is my opinion okay <laughs> eh uh, if you chewing mira wewe tu ni mwanaume sasa <laughs> <laughs> ni ninja you just know you are a man do you know mira kills the i don't know if it 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 kills that that thing but but i don't know why madem wana chiu mira kale ka udem kameisha imekilio hata vile wanaongea you see that 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 so like you eh like like una nema kutoka ka joyce ndio ametulia ko so guys nini Acha kula mira 3 days ni eh? Eh, anakuuliza form. Mbona unaniangalia hivyo unataka namba? Form. Kama ni namba unataka chukua. Anakuuliza rada. Unataka Oh my god. Sana Eh wacha mimi ni baki basi na regular chinga. Wewe baki sasa mimi sikuti stay by. Una unatembea hivi na wewe usiku yeye ndio eh ka nyuma nikuchunge. Kwani iko nini? Niko nini? Or it makes you tough. I don't know. I know. A lady I, I should know, be a lady. Hakuna yeah. demana chiu mirako na ka element ka udem. Ka politeness plan. <laughs> Eddie Putita, thank you so much for coming on to the show today. Thank you so Pleasure much. to have you. Yeah. And please um how can guys follow you? Of course, I'm sure you're doing lots of things on your pages. At Eddie Butita everywhere. Mm -hmm. Eddie Butita on Instagram. Are you working on anything Twitter. new that you want to tease for us yeah. or announce for people to look out for? Mm, uh they should look check out my social media uh, mm -hmm. platforms. Mm -hmm. Uh there are new projects that you're doing online. Nice. Currently given with the COVID situation Right, adapt before, or die, right? Yeah, yeah. Before everything gets back to normal. Yeah. So, tunaendelea bado na usani mm -hmm. content creation. Yeah. So you can check out my social media platforms at Edi Butita. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Awesome. We appreciate Thank you. Sam. Let's take a break now as we get ready for the top of the hour. Coming up next, we have lots more music on the way. We also have our personality interview with Ali Mukwana. He has an amazing testimony. Really excited to talk to him about that. Double two triple nine is the SMS line. And uh, more requests on the way, right? Definitely. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep it locked.